Welcome. Hey everyone, we are on the Atari uh, 800XL tonight. I have a FujiNet hooked up, which is this Wi-Fi device here. And we're going to be playing some games uh, online at the High Score Club, starting with Centipede. So if you're not familiar with the FujiNet, it is a really cool project um, for a lot of platforms, a lot of uh, classic platforms, not just the Atari. They got uh, Commodore and Apple and all sorts of uh, things going on. Um, and it does a lot. Uh, the main things I use it for uh, it adds a Wi-Fi component to, uh, you know, these older 8-bit computers, way before there was uh, Wi-Fi even existed. And you can get online, you can uh, uh, play games online, which is what I'm doing now. This is online. Um, and you can also um, kind of host all your software on a, a, a network disk, if you will. Uh, you can create your own little server called a TNSF server, and I put all my software on there, and I can just hop on there and, um, and access it from there, which is quite nice. Um, although I still have a bunch of floppy disks and free drives in here, I do like the... Um, I do like the, the uh, throwing up floppy disk and something uh, exciting about that. But this is not on floppy. Floppy drives are off. Fujinet, we're doing this at, on their server. They have these games um, modified to. Uh, like high scores, which, uh, you know, the original games were not, you know, you turn off your computer, you turn off your machine, you lose your high score, right? You, you had to, uh, and these are before the days you could whip out your phone and take a picture. So you either had to take a picture on film and get the film developed to prove your high score, or have uh, some reliable witnesses, uh, right there. Uh, 
Well, there we go. We've got a long way to go to get on that high score board. So let's see what else, um, what other games they have uh, activated for um, high score. So this is the FujiNet. Um, so when I when I boot the computer, I have plugged in here. You can see it over there. Um, that device there. FujiNet. So it plugs into the SIO port on the Atari, just like you would, uh, you know, a disk drive or or any other peripheral for the Atari 8-bit. Um, but if you look at the screen, it goes uh, online. So I'm using my joystick. All I have to do is go down um, to this apps errata online. And this is online. This is not my uh, thing. This is the FujiNet's little server. Go to Atari 8-bit, go to games, high score enabled. And there we go. Um, let's see what all they got. Boy, I suck at Defender. Um, let's play some Donkey Kong. So what I do is I select it, I tell it what slot I want to put it in, and put it in one. So back on the FujiNet, you can see there under drive slots, number one is Donkey Kong. Uh, then I just have to press option, and it'll load whatever's in slot one, um, which is Donkey Kong. But here's the cool thing, it's not local, it's online. So... So not only is this online, it's been um, modded a little bit to uh, collect high score at the end if we uh, do well enough, which we most certainly, uh, almost certainly will not.
been a long time since I've played this on the, uh, yeah. on the 8-bit. Mm. Another one that we're going to have uh, trouble uh, getting up on the board. But practice makes perfect, I guess. Well, let's see what else they got. So apps errata online, Atari 8-bit. Now, you know, there's a lot more than games here, as you can see. There's DOS, educational stuff, bulletin board stuff, music page, you know, everything you can think of. Plus every freaking game there is, seems like. Um, high score enabled is what we're looking at. Some of these I've, I've just... I'm not even familiar with. Baja Buggies. Uh, Computer War. I think that's like a um, War Games. Uh, Crab Nebula, Crisis Mountain. Earth 2500. Let's try Frogger. Again, we put whatever we want to load into slot one. We hit uh, option, and it, it boots whatever's in slot one, whether it's DOS or a game or PBS software, whatever, whatever you got in there. I've been playing the Atari 2600, which on the uh, standard mode of Frogger, you can actually stay on a log and go, 
you know, off the screen and come back out the other side. Which I should know better. That... Oh! Um... <clears throat> just creates bad habits for whenever I play uh, other... I'm not gonna throw her anyway, so let's start with it.
So if you have a a bit Atari, I highly recommend this uh, FujiNet. Whoops. Not sure how I lived without it uh, back in the day. I got the, I, this is original equipment. Um, I have a, the only thing, well, S video mod on this and also a, um, uh, a Rambo uh, RAM expansion, although I really don't have anything that takes advantage of it. It just it was in there when I got it. And I am running this on a uh, CRT, so it's a Panasonic, um, kind of a rescued, uh, uh, not quite a PVM, but it's uh, some sort of monitor situation. It's not bad. It's got an S-Video uh, input on it, which is what I needed. All right. Peace and peace. So this is on the Atari, and it looks like they want to bring this, this is the 800 bit computer, and they want to bring a version of the FujiNet over to the Atari 2600, which would be really cool. Um, there's already something very cool that I just recently built and been getting into, and that's the Plus Cart, the Atari 2600, which is a multi-cart, Wi-Fi based multi-cart, so you can, and also has, um, I'm not sure how to, um, 
get over that water. But the plus card is super cool. So there we go. That is the FujiNet for the Atari 8-bit um, high score club, playing high score games online. Um, unfortunately, we're not good enough to get really up on the uh, top 10 of any of these games, but uh, we'll keep working on it. All right.